Nigerians living abroad, this video will save you 20 years of hard labor. You know that stand. Ask yourself this question. Why be say majority of the abroad returnee when they come to Nigeria to cause stay permanently, they go broke in less than three years. Why they like that? Ask yourself that question and give me the, uh, the answer of the comment section. Why they like that? Now, I'm let you know something. If they pay me a lot when I see majority of Africans, especially Nigerians, they spend 15 years of their life, 20 years of their life to 30 years of their life for abroad, only for them to come home to discover say everything where they labor for is just a liability. Now, you they, you they abroad, you they work normal nine to five. Every day, man, you know something. Every day by day, the least amount of Nigerians are they follow talk. Or Africans, both Ghanaians, Cameroonians, where they outside, outside Africa, when they follow talk, it's nothing less than five. And the major complaint on a daily basis is, ah, we they work a lot here, we they pay bills, the bills they go back to the system. Then the small thing where they get where they send home to Nigeria, these are the builders for them for Nigeria. Yeah. Now you don't work all those many, many years of your life. You are coming home to Nigeria or to Africa, and the only thing you have is a liability. Because now the place where you take the work, that's where your source of income is. The source of income is more powerful and useful than the house. The source of income, which is you're an employee for that place, many of them are than a nine to five job you they do. Which means the day you decide to leave that country, you they leave the source of income. Your source of income is the source of your livelihood. Now, you have some savings in your account. You buy like two cars for, uh, for the normal Nigeria life. You buy two cars for the normal mansion where you build for Nigeria. Yeah. Now, you don't return to Nigeria. Yeah. This small money where they your account, you actually impress family. They say they pay some bills and expenses because you need expenses to maintain the house, to run the house. You need expenses to maintain your cars where they drive, to fuel the cars and every other thing. And also to, for your normal upkeep. But now, don't forget, say one thing is there. The source of income, when you get for abroad, you don't get American. Now, you don't live abroad. You don't come to Nigeria. So, you see, say, before you go stay one year, two years, there's not, no, you don't get as a B. This will not be said, they wish you bad on a devil. You must go broke. Because the source of income is not there anymore. And the source of income is the most useful thing. It's more useful than the house. The house does not pay bills. Financial principles are very, very easy, but the truth is that not be everybody really they understand. So if you see understand, but the ability for them to do, now which they don't know. You know understand? The house does not pay bills. Rather, now you they pay money, now you they you work money to take, maintain the house. And I tell people, say, for your life, for you to survive on earth, you must pay bills. For you to survive on earth, you must pay bills. And a source of income, they pay bills. Now, the reason why they tell you this thing, they say, many Nigerians, they mistake house. As an investment instead of <laughs> achievement there's difference there between achievement and investment investment now which they give you money achievement now which you get for no matter okay as this life when you come you just try what he has to give you house when you build when you use 50 million naira build what he save you from he save you from your yearly yearly rent uh, renter income if now maybe for instance now you pay one million naira a month uh, yearly for your house rent the only thing that your house will use 50 million naira to build is save you from a yearly rent of 1 million naira. You know that stand. It's save you from a yearly rent of 1 million naira. <laughs> That's what you just be. Now, you come home to Nigeria to a liability because you don't have an investment. What you need is an investment. Go be as you come to Nigeria, that investment will pay your bills and every other thing. This is not me saying building a house is wrong. But the moment you debut that, say you they invest, you are not investing. Especially if it's a personal house you are, you are building to stay. You are not investing. You are building for normal comfort. Hmm? For normal comfort. For normal uh, achievement. And also to save yourself from rent. That what you build for. But in the neighborhood, if you say, as you build the house, you don't solve your financial problems. No. As not they solve, you only solve one portion of your financial problem. Which is... It will save you from rent, paying rent. Now, the only thing when it do for you be that. But apart from rent, you might be not get other expenses. Yes, you have other expenses you are paying. Your school, your children will, will, will pay their school fees. Hmm? You do other things as a man for you to survive on this earth. You have other bills as, aside the rent. That one aside. Now, the reason why they drop this video, not be even this, I just want to let you know of this one first. First of all, read this uh, conversation with they on this screen, with the display on this screen. You know that's that every day by day, the least amount of messages when they get like this is nothing less than maybe sometimes three, sometimes four, sometimes five, sometimes ten on a daily basis. Because recently, 
many Nigerians or Africans where they are abroad and they watch my videos and they say everything when I talk, they carry out their own personal research and they say everything when I talk my video is true. You know that stand. And now they know they see the value and importance of exportation. Because the normal thing where they tell you before you where they are, abroad, especially those ones where they Italy and Europe, Nigerians with the uh, Europe or Italy, all these uh, countries, all these European countries, the normal thing where they know now to buy something cheaply for abroad, they call ship come Nigeria here. Yeah. So they are buying dollars, they call ship come Nigeria here. Yeah. When you ship come Nigeria, what is uh, your concept for Nigeria here yeah, in Naira? At the end of the day, because you are not spending money in this economy, you they spend for your country economy. Let's say, for instance, we did Italy now, or Europe, any Europe, uh, Europe country where you did. You go convert the money back to the, the currency of the country where you did. You go see, say, you don't really make any money, rather than you they lose. How would you get with that? So, make I explain them again. Now, the normal thing with the tissue, where you know, maybe many of them they do, you they buy things for abroad, eh, for the country where you did, you did Canada, US, any country where you did. You call ship and come Nigeria. You call say in Naira. You are buying dollars to say in Naira. Then at the end of the day, when you don't do now, you are not spending the money in Nigeria currency because you still need the money for you to run your expenses there for abroad where you they gonna business where they do. You go convert that money back to the currency of that country, which is a higher currency. You go discover say at the end of the day, you not really gain anything. Rather than you they lose. So that method is old method. Nobody is doing that again. So when many of them they watch my videos, they talk all these things. They go discover say when this boy talk about exportation, exportation they help you they buy in local currency, in local currency. You buy African products, obviously they need abroad. You ship and go, go they sell for the currency of the country in which you did. And I talk about uh, Shako, I talk about uh, black soap, I talk about uh, African uh, soap, uh, native soap. Many, many of the African products will be say the countries, the companies, the individual, the citizens of those, the citizens of those countries, they need all these raw materials, of these African raw materials for them to survive because they're not got this is for their country. And for their companies to survive, they need our raw materials. I talk all these things before. When they carry out the research, they say, wait till I talk not true. Especially the aspect of Shako. Now, deals they come in on a daily basis. One Nigerian come in recently, after I watched my video, he said, where they pass, they go work on a daily basis. They see where people, they manufacture Shako. They use Shako for normal, normal things. They buy Shako, they see Shako, where they load, but they want to offload for the place. He got this issue. He said, ever since you not really know that thing they use for, or you watch my video, because see the uses. He got, got, he got, got to discover Many, many things. He called reach out to the company. When he reach out to the company, they give a deal of over three months deal. Over like 60 to 80 containers of Shako. You know what I stand? That country where you dare as a Nigerian, a lot of opportunities there available for you. Or as an African. Just for you to know which of the products or which of the raw material will be say these people where they those country, that country where you they so they need from Africa. Because these countries, every country for this world, they need something from Africa. Now just for you to know that thing where they need, that raw material where they need, then you'll be able to get it for them. Simple, you go make a lot of money for yourself. A lot of money for yourself. You know, <laughs> a lot of money for yourself. When we say it go save you that normal hard labor. Many, many uh, stress with the go work with the do this one. You will see they do your normal nine to five job. This one will really take much of your time. What do you want to do? You are a middleman between a seller and a buyer. Get the companies where they produce or where you need all these, uh, these raw materials. You take the uh, raw material from Africa, yeah, from people they produce for Africa, yeah, then supply the companies. You're already in business. It's stopping from your nine to five job. No. No. You know that stuff. So when you make this money, what you go is to do finally, finally. Get an investment here in Nigeria. Get investment, not a liability. Get investment. So as you retire home, you are retiring to investment, cash flow. We go feed they pay your bills. Even if you go build us, you go come from you go retire from abroad permanently without a source of income, without a stable source of income. As you come to Nigeria, what you go up finally, the small money where you save, you go shop um, before you look now, maybe now two cars you get before you first flock down one things at a shop. <laughs> as this is a shop finish now. As you don't send one car, you first day, peep, uh, the next one, you don't flog the other one. The next one, now you want to sell your house, you got the plan. If not, you sell the house, your house, you got the old, you for you to renovate your house, you don't go fit. Or many of them will say they sell their properties later, later, they got, got to run back to abroad. Because they also in Nigeria life, they don't stay inside again. So the only hope they have is for them to return back to abroad. I don't really want that type of life for you. You know that stand. If you watch this video to this level, I don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> Say my name in capital letter, gay gay, because I know those who watch my video to the highest level. 
I did receive a lot of criticism from people who not really understand financial principles. Maybe because of the way I tell you, I tell you raw the way they did. So many people not they really they understand me like that. But if you really listen to my videos with open mind, then everything when I tell you, go they do the research yourself because see, everything when they talk is so on point. And they teach you real life experiences. So I mean, you not go cry the same cry where other people don't cry before. And I know the last comment of a fool. A wise man they learn from the mistakes of other people. When they tell you, say, experience is the best teacher. Not go use your life to do experience. They go do experiment. Learn from people ex <laughs> Learn from other people experience. Uh -huh. Not go use your own life. Now, because if you make one single mistake, if you ruin your entire life, one single mistake what you go make, if you ruin your entire life. One of the things that they enjoy today, I'll see the talk at it tomorrow. The best decision I made so far in my life. When I get some money, when my age mate, they build personal house to go stay. I, I build house. I use the money to build house, but not be asked to be said, go stay. The one will go generate me money. And I'm not talking about rent. Those who want to watch my videos for the beginning, know what they talk about. So, small, small decisions where they make choices on a daily basis, and which they separate you from the average persons. You know that stand. Eh, yeah, so make we live like that. And many people, many, many of the excuses where people where they are abroad they make now, nah, and we they build all these things for our children, or oh, my children, eh, yeah, for generation. You never do okay. You won't build for generation. <laughs> children will be saying many of the way you born for abroad, they never get plans of even coming to Nigeria yet. Yeah. And many of them even if they even come to Nigeria, as it's safe. I just maybe they just did some time. Maybe you know they want to do marriage or they want to do something, uh, family something, just stay some time. They, they relate more to the abroad with the day than in Nigeria or the Africa with the day. You know understand? This is not me saying you should build a house, but get your priorities right. You know understand? Thank you so much for watching. I don't really know. I don't really know. One love. Gay gay. <laughs> so I think we'll say the life will be so we won't live. And we'll be so we go enjoy today. Tomorrow people they enjoy, we'll see if no they enjoy. 20 years coming, people they enjoy, we'll see if no they enjoy. Now we'll be saying you enjoy this year. Tomorrow, people call the enjoy, you're not going to follow them enjoy. You're like, you don't know this boy. That year before, you know this thing that before. Past tense, before. He get money before, but now, nah, you not get money again. That will never be your portion. And for that not to be your portion, why not say amen on the comment section? Better amen, capital letter amen on the comment section. One love, gay gay.